Alex and Abby. Hi. Hello, Dan. You're Dan. in this room with me. I yes. am. Yes. Vinny is over there in the control booth. I am. Hey, uh, this here is the Outer Worlds. Whoa, look at your little squishy footsteps. Yes, this is uh, oh, what we're watching here is a video, so I'm not playing live. This is something I played over at uh, Take Two a few weeks ago. Uh, so I'm going to do my best to remember everything that's going on here. Uh, this game is pretty cool. So I like this, this a lot. New, this is the new game from Obsidian. It's from Obsidian. It is very much, uh, you know, it's, there are going to be obvious comparisons to Fallout. There is a pedigree there on the development side and everything. Uh, and obviously in the structure. It is very much in the vein of a Bethesda game. Yes, I can wow, already see. Very fallout. Oh, it's extremely Fallout. All right, so uh, set us up here. What's, what's, what are you starting out doing here in this game? All right, so I'm on this planet. I believe the planet is called Monarch. And uh, there is a ship that I have that uh, in the final game I would be able to get on and presumably fly around to other planets and places, but uh, I am not able to uh, do that here in the quick look for embargo purposes. Right. So we're going to just kind of explore Monarch here, and this is a little uh, saloon town I found, talking to Mortimer Bell. Mm -hmm. I think he's telling me there's like bars and stuff in town I can check out. So I don't have an active quest, as you can see in the top right. So I, I talked to several people uh, that were at the same event, and it was really interesting to hear their different perspectives. Uh, I just did a video for uh, GameSpot with Mahardy, and he did a total different thing during his allotted two hours oh, cool. with the exact same start so right. it was a pretty open thing and i was pretty happy with just kind of the the trouble i was able to get into uh that we'll see in this video here uh, i will say from the start i like the way this looks i do too it's very very colorful uh i like it a lot it is not doing it the aesthetic is like it's not steampunk which i'm glad because that's super <laughs> fucking overused but yes. it's this like golden age sci-fi like ray guns and stuff yeah, that, like in space like yeah. saturday like sirens of titan type yeah stuff. and there's a lot of areas so i was able to play the beginning of the game which i'm not allowed to talk about for embargo purposes here but i was able to see other planets and stuff and setups and things like that okay and i will say i'm very into uh what this game is putting out aesthetically and gameplay wise uh, who do you have following you there? Okay, so I have two companions Ooh. here. Uh, okay, Look at that just, moon head. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is just vending machine stuff. Uh, I've got these uh, two people. Uh, one is a woman I met, I believe, at a uh, factory. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe some jerk was telling me, well, that might be from the beginning. I don't think I'm allowed okay. to talk about that. So we'll just say they're friendly folks that are following they're me companions. around, basically. Yes. Okay. And to my understanding, pretty much all of these towns and everything are basically just owned by giant corporations. Mm. So it's just like, oh, here. Here's the company that makes tuna, canned tuna. They they run this whole town, and so Whoa, the logo's everywhere. Uh, that's me, yes. I, Are you uh, a robot, or is that just your I'm armor? a man. I, I might have murdered uh, somebody and taken their clothes. I can't remember. Okay, so that's armor. You're... Yeah, you're wearing a robot skin, is what you're okay, saying. Okay. Yeah, I, I am a man. Uh, there is a character creator thing. Oh, okay, ooh, so this is one of my. Creator, yeah, exciting. this is one of my uh, companions here. So Whoa. you can see the companions each have their own uh, like tabs up there, and so I can go through and upgrade them uh, as well as with perk points. That must be really hard on our forearms to just hold that like that. Say, that's that's a gun. gun. Yes. So you can kind of set like the AI behavior and stuff, like how you want them to act when you're just like getting into little skirmishes. Ah. Gotcha. Also, you will get more than these two. Uh, I, I think it's two at a time is the maximum, but it's kind of doing that RPG party type thing where it's like I could go back to my ship and be like, okay, I think you'd be better suited for this mission. Oh, I like that. Do you yeah. have like romance options or wow, that girl looked cool. Yeah, they, they're both awesome. Um, you'll you'll get to see some of their combat abilities in a second. Um, but I, don't, I don't know about romance where it's stuff. like. Not necessarily Romans, but like relationship stuff of like, oh, I bring these people out on my missions. We're going to be better friends like, or like a Mass Effect type thing. Like sure. I, I, uh, I did not see that okay. in this playthrough, so I can't really speak to that. Uh, I'm just kind of going through here some of the leveling up stuff. So there, there's three uh, tiers of perks you can get for your characters. You can see on the right, it's, it's very Bethesda stuff. Mm -hmm. Your armor goes up, your carrying capacity goes up, things like that. Uh, for a second there, I thought you said your caring capacity, which, boy, that yes. would have been a different uh, no, emotional I'm a, event. No, I'm a dead-behind-the-eyes robot man. Okay, I it. care about nothing. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> but I think you saw there, that was my standing with all the different corporations. And mm. so, like, based on what I do, like, if I wanted to, I could make one of those corporations super love me, and I would do all their, you know, I could oh. follow the CEO's biddings or whatever. That would be very or, unlike you. Yes, <laughs> yes. I hate my brands. <laughs> no, so, I'm or you can just absolutely just, just firebomb everything okay. and uh, Strange, go against all their wishes. Family. So... Uh, you will see in this mission that I, I do here that it it does that cool Bethesda thing. Uh, again, I'm saying Bethesda. It's not a Bethesda game, but, you know, those type of games of a lot of freedom with your choices throughout the mission that lead to very different outcomes. Uh -oh. I heard a computer sound. Well, that doesn't matter. We're watching this video on a personal computer. Yes. 
All right, so here I am just kind of talking to people. Like, I got no direction. This is a good thing in terms of, like, I didn't have someone to take to saying, like, make sure you go here and talk to this That's person. Good. to check this. My you have to see this. Yeah, so this was a very natural, like, this is how I would be playing the game normally. I'm just trying to, trying to get a breadcrumb trail here. Okay. Dan, I know you probably tried this, but can you take out your weapon in town? Uh, yes, you can. So what happens? What happens? Um, what happens if you cause mayhem in town? I mean, things will go south. Uh, people will start running and yelling, and then the like guards will come after you, and you'll get yourself in a little firefight. Uh, I don't think you're gonna. Oh, there's my one. <laughs> okay, do you try? <laughs> Although I, I why is your sword so stinky? Man, I have like a poison sword. If I had only waited two minutes. <laughs> yep. Ha! <laughs> ready to go. <laughs> All right, who wants to play knifey gunny? <laughs> just, just pull out a mini gun right after you ask that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you got a weapon wheel there. Uh, so, so I think you can swap between all those. I want to say it's with Y, and then it's one of the bumpers, I believe, to uh, to switch to that. You can see up there. There's a blue. Uh, there's like a blue juice bar there. That is focus. It's not like a VAT system, but it is a slowdown system. Okay. Okay. Here's an insurance agent I'm talking to while holding a minigun. Mm -hmm. I'm obligated to inform you that our coverage does not extend to incidents deemed to result from negligence, criminal activity, or fucking insurance people, man. <laughs> Everyone in every town basically no is working for sure these corporations. You. Right. Like, you will also find these kind of ragtag groups of like, hey, so, we're going to blow kind of this factory up. Gotcha. I interest you in? We're running a special on dismemberment policies. Buy one, get one half off. Plenty. As my boss likes to say, there's a policy for every situation and an exclusion for every policy. We've insured unusually expressive eyebrows. Outrageous the Lloyds of London situation here. <laughs> Those are mostly for top rungers in Byzantium who have a lot of social. I'm gonna let most of the dialogue stuff kind of play out during this because there's plenty of combat I can talk over. There's one for your beloved eloping with your sibling, your beloved eloping with their sibling, scandalous rumors forcing you apart, the revelation of a secret love child. We try to cover every possible hazard to domestic bliss. Ah yes, the you, you are hiding a child <laughs> yes. clause. <laughs> One thing's for sure. I found uh, all the, the voice acting and everything and mm -hmm. the dialogue. I've, I've really liked all of it that I've seen in this. Good faces, too. Yeah. Like, faces the character good. faces yeah. are pretty expressive. For all practical and tax-related purposes, this office is an official enclave of Byzantium. Legally speaking, corporations are not allowed to operate on Monarch. But financially speaking, there are certain costs to running a business from within Byzantium's walls. So while our official address is in the city, and so we can... What's the phrase? Past savings to the consumer, of course. We prefer to think of it as chasing the savings. Mm. Turns out that not having to pay kickbacks, fines, and rent in the most expensive city in Halcyon improves our liquidity. Plus, sublight. So I think something that's really cool about this game in general is you mentioned like the faces. Like this yeah. looks really good, mm -hmm. and we're all very used to that Bethesda thing of the wooden faces and everything, yeah. and the wooden animations and janky stuff. Everyone's been wanting for so long, like, a Bethesda game to, like, move to the next step of the engine and feel like a more modern game and everything, because, like, you know, everyone loves the Bethesda games and everything, myself included, but, like, they have started to feel old for many years now. Right. So this actually feels like the Bethesda-style game with, like, a modern engine. Like, right. the combat feels good, the faces look good, everything's less wooden. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of what I've been wanting for a while, even if it's not, you know, this big 100-hour Skyrim thing. And also, I if it's not Bethesda, let's just keep, let's keep hammering that point. This <laughs> right. is an Obsidian game. Uh, well, been, I know, yeah. but like the pedigree's there. The comparisons are going to be there from of everyone, course. obviously. So, I like this friendly robot who doesn't mind you uh, lock picking and yeah. hacking. <laughs> I think there were like hacking skills and everything. There it seems like there's plenty of stuff and computers you can uh, loot through and everything. Emails to read. No I games love ever done that. Email. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I'm breaking into the insurance company's computer here and seeing like the claims and why they were denied. Things like that. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. That person oh, lost yeah, they a lost, finger. They lost four the fingers and couldn't type. Pretty funny. Mm -hmm. So they've gotten out there and they've said that, like, you know, this is going to be a smaller scale version of one of those games. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, uh, you know, going to be more like 20 hours or so. Right. Which, you know, that's I will take a densely packed, fun uh, 20 hours. For yeah, sure. I also feel like that's usually my where I fall off of those games is oh, when yeah. I get overwhelmed. Like with Skyrim, I played a ton of Skyrim and didn't get close to finishing the story because I was like, but I need to be in the Thieves Guild first and I need right. to do this first. Right. So it seems nice to have maybe a little more curated of an experience with that. Yeah, yeah. And I think there are going to be people that prefer both or mm -hmm. uh, or each each or. Um, but uh, yeah, I do like the big ones for sure, but I, have, I really don't have a problem with it being scaled down at all here. Do you have and any problems with inventory? Uh, I didn't. Uh, you know, again, I, I this is only a couple hours here, so it's not like I 
really got to a point where I was over encumbered or anything mm. like that, or, or had to deal with what to ditch and what to store or whatever. Um, but no, in this playthrough, I did not have to worry about that. They were very cool with you just stealing shit all I over know. this place. They, hey, they're totally, they're cool as hell. Ooh, new helmet. The menus and everything have seemed pretty clean. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about inventory management. I can't speak to the whole thing, but during my time with it, I, I liked it a lot. Uh, where did you just put that other helmet? Did you like... Uh, it's probably my it. pants. Drop it? Uh, or did you like did it break disappear? it down for parts? It, I, it didn't so. show I probably inventory. marked it as junk. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm big on any game that lets you do the mark as junk, oh. and then you just sell everything in one fell swoop. I'm real lazy about that. Oh, I love it. Oh, Diablo, just junk, 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 junk. Ooh, what's that? Someone I'm not that. sure. It looks like something I should be able to interact with. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Great job. We'll fix that in editing. Oh, Make it look real good. cool, yeah. Those are the people that'll get mad at you if you start uh, shooting that minigun mm -hmm. in town. That's fair. I mean, it is their job to be mad about that. Yes. I will say that they are being very calm about you just carrying a gun and not firing it. Yeah, I, I remember wanting to put this away because I didn't know if people would treat me differently if I pointed the minigun at them, uh, but I could not figure out how to holster my weapon. Gotcha. <laughs> yes. Well, so far they seem chill. <laughs> uh, Modifying weapons. Upgrades. Tinkering with stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's got that. Oop. So I will say, I went through, I don't think it's on this video, uh, but there was a point where I went through all these different items I had in my inventory, and like everything has that like 3D Resident Evil examine the item type thing. Uh, okay. And everything is like super duper detailed. Like they put a lot of work into like every one of these items' models, it seemed. So when you're upgrading these guns, are you, is it like crafting, or are you picking up pieces that you can attach, or are you just buying stuff? Uh, what I'm doing here seems like a very basic level. You can see on the right, uh, I can basically hit A to tinker, which is like I've got a certain amount of bits, which is a okay. currency, just to upgrade the damage and things like that. I was not able to get like too far into the weeds with like modifying guns or swapping out parts. I'm not really sure how deep that system gotcha. goes based on my time with it. Did the weapons feel like uh, kind of a borderlands? These are just generated with names and stats, or did they feel like somebody made these? Bespoke? Uh, I would say it felt a bit more bespoke. Um, you know, it wasn't just like, here's a bunch of words in a row that a you know, <laughs> Wait, generator did. It's, what happened? <laughs> the people crouching behind. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I wanted to play. Yeah. I like that you stood on a chair and then crouched on it and were like, I'm ready to play. Yeah. Oh, I just like that your crew is ready to murder that person if you gave the call. Like, we are down for this. Well, that's the thing. So you see in the bottom left, uh, that's the D-pad stuff. And, you know, I can uh, say, hey, go here, patrol here, or whatever. But left and right is their special abilities, which uh, I definitely use liberally once we get into some combat. Right now, I'm just enjoying you stealing everything <laughs> in this town. Yeah, that's what I do. I think it does the thing where it's like if someone's if someone would witness it, it would say steal instead right. of yeah. So if it doesn't say steal, it's fucking mine. And sometimes even when it does. Yes. Ooh, a waterfall. Gotta look behind the waterfall. What's, it's a video what's game. What's in there? Oh, cave. Whoa. Oh, something bad. What happened? Uh, I don't know. It's like a poisonous water. Oh, it's oh, a mine. Nice. Okay, yeah, that's what that was. Say some but stats you found or some shit. Treasure. Mm hmm Anti riot gear. They really should have hidden this better. <laughs> they put up two mines there. Yeah. Two mines and a waterfall, that's yeah. all you need. Who's gonna look behind a waterfall? Everyone who plays a video <laughs> game ever. <laughs> Do you have to have um the people with you? You know, I'm not sure. I didn't Could see you like go a solo if you wanted to. I'm not sure. It wouldn't surprise me if there was like a dismiss option or something, mm -hmm. or if you just go to the ship and don't take anyone. Right. But I can't uh, say that with certainty. Um, do you ever get armor that's less, like, covers everything? Do you ever get stuff where it's like, oh, this is, you know, it's armor, but it maybe looks not like I'm a big robot and I can still see the face I made? I or? feel I feel like you, uh, yeah. I, I think I picked something that was way robot cover everything, okay. but it, it does seem like there's going to be more of a variety based on what I saw from other people playing. Cool. You might like have like a hide armor or like hide helmet mm. option. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's a good helmet, though. I know. This is a good look, yeah, but yeah. I also feel like when I make a character and put three hours <laughs> into the you face. You want to see it? Yeah. Yeah, you're getting kind of kill zone on that helmet. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I love these women just staring at you. Yeah. Like, all right, what are we doing next? <laughs> My plasma launcher I found behind the waterfall. <laughs> looking for more mines or something? Uh, we'll looking for whatever. Stuff to steal. Poking around. I think at this point I'm just trying to find a quest so I can uh, go do some combat. So you can see up there uh, the A button. You can do some like side dashes for mobility and combat. Oh, Ar sure. So there's this interesting push thing. Push them in, push them in. Oh. <laughs> no. 
There's this interesting thing with the, you have this inhaler for your health. So you see up there it says RB. And so you have a base inventory item that is basically like your health. Uh, it's a finite resource. So you'll pick up like these syringes or these health packs or whatever. And that's what goes in when you use the inhaler with RB. But you can also like in the chamber of the inhaler, you can add other chemicals and stuff that you find. Yeah. So you can set it up. So like, oh, when I inhale, I'm taking my health thing, but also all these drugs that are going to cause me to like super door. focus and slow down time or increase my damage and stuff like that. So you can really modify what your RB health thing is. Super space drugs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think this is when I uh, saw the ship, and I was like, this seems like the thing I'm not allowed to show. If I <laughs> if I got in the ship. Where's the ship? I think it's here. Oh, like you call it in? I think so. Yep, there's my ship. Oh, wow, that wow. happened quickly. Yeah, I saw that, and I was like, oh, I'm supposed to leave. Really? Yeah. So then you leave. I'm still just trying to find a quest. <laughs> yeah, so, so I assume that there is like a main story thread that you are playing through. I mean, I'm definitely. Not, I'm, I'm sure they probably don't want you disclosing a lot of details about that. <laughs> <laughs> I was, had oh, to test. That wow. is good. Had to see if there was fall damage. I was fine. I took some drugs. I love that he didn't yell in the fall. He just yelled after he landed for a prolonged amount of you time. You mean after his shins broke? Yes. 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 <laughs> Definitely seemed more annoyed with you than with the actual yeah, fall. What are you doing, you idiot? <laughs> yeah. I wish we could have heard the women who probably had to jump after yeah, him. Yeah, also be like, why? <laughs> yes. Um... Yes, there definitely will be a main quest, but I think this quest that I take here is just a side quest, okay. a very optional thing, and, and I thought this was a pretty fun quest. So. But so, like, the game isn't, like, constantly pointing you toward the main story stuff. Like, you, it's kind of up to you to sort of dig around and find that stuff. I mean, based on my time here, like, I think I could have done a main quest, but I just happened to stumble into a side thing, so right. I did not feel like things were pushing me. It's not like my companions were constantly like, hey, we gotta go see that guy! Right. right. Okay. Uh, did you just fast travel to a new area? Uh, I think you can fast travel to areas you've been to before. Okay. I think this is where you start. I think it is, yeah, because I think I was like, okay, I'm not finding a quest in this town, so I'll go. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh. Oh. Wow. That was loud. Yeah. Um, okay, question. Did not yes. foresee that. Uh, did you see any areas that didn't look like this? Um, th they, this, planet, this planet it wow, has a lot of this look. I really like that they're just like, you know what? Your partners are going to get all the glory. Oh, yeah, that's what those the things uh, left and right on the D-pad do. Honestly, they've earned it. It cooldown's pretty generous too. I got to use it a lot here. So that was the focus thing you saw. Like I drained the uh, the blue bar a bit. Wow. We've been testing out the plasma launcher. She just hard to launch that plasma. Yep. There we go. Oh, there, there we go. go. Got him. It. So I, they've already recharged their ability thing. Wow, that's fast. Yeah, it's it's super fast. Combat veterans. All right, come. The plasma launcher did its job. Some legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's also stealth, uh, like this tall grass and everything. Like you can totally oh, crouch cool. through that, and there are like detection meter things and everything over enemies. Um, does shooting feel good? Yeah. Okay. Manta queen. <laughs> Again, to compare it to Fallout, like you could run and you know do Novat stuff and, and right. shoot down the barrel type stuff, but like it feels way better in this. Roast him. And when you use the focus thing, it'll Shoot like the belly. yeah, it'll tell you when you use focus. You know, it, different status effects and, oh, and weak parts. Cool. Uh -oh. Also, they announced uh, recently this is coming to Switch. Yeah. yeah. See how that does. We'll see how that does. That <laughs> yeah. is the correct response to that. Yeah. <laughs> oh goodness! You're on uh, fire. Yeah, that's not good. I don't think I knew how to deal with being on fire, so I just jumped around. <laughs> that's not how you deal with being on fire. Stop, just stop drop and roll. roll for anyone at home. There's no, there's no controls for stop, drop, and roll. Yes, yeah, so keep rolling even when you think you're out. <laughs> yes, keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Yes, that's what that song's about. Fire safety from so, Fred Durst. I, I'm curious now. I see Parvati is hurt, so I'm watching her health bar to see if she regens automatically. I don't remember actively having to deal with that while I was playing. <laughs> I was into this. I see why. Yeah, it's Can pretty you, cool. Is it possible to skip the animation for it? Um, I didn't try because I liked it. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I like it, but I 
think also if I were playing a lot of these encounters, I would be like, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we get it. You're good with that yes. mini gun. Yeah. yeah. Hammer one's a bit shorter. It's a good uh, hammer. Yeah. It's, Is that thing uh, not dead? I guess not. Not quite. There we go. The Mega Mantasaur. It was trying to play dead. Why did it have a bracelet? I think it ate all that stuff. Probably like ate a dude. Uh, Ew, look at his babies. That's gross. Manta pillar. Ew, these bugs are too squishy. They're and gross. Big. So, okay, so this is a planet called uh, Monarch, right? Yes. Does it say where it is in the universe? I didn't get to see any of that like world map type okay. stuff, really. I did get to see the setup to the game, uh, but I cannot talk about it. Fair mm -hmm. enough. Yeah, so you'll see the corporations under like pretty much all the items. So there's TNL, there's Spacer's Choice, there's Auntie Cleo's. Like basically everything comes okay. from these different corporations. Brands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this is the consumable thing. So up there, that's the inhaler. So in the first slot there, I've got my basic like Adreno inhaler health thing or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then you can unlock those extra slots to just like throw all your other drugs in. Gotcha. Cool. My drugs. Need my chems. Um, do you get any upgrades as far as like double jumping or I don't know, like ground slams, or is it pretty much like feet on the ground, shoot a cool gun? I can't say I got any upgrades like that. There are those tiers of those perks that you can unlock. Mm -hmm. And I want to say there were some that were like speed up, you know, walking speed or sprinting speed, things like that. I don't think I saw any like Mobility game changing things like a okay. double jump. I could be wrong though. Didn't didn't see all the upgrades. You found a safe house. So that probably unlocked a fast travel point there. I'm assuming these things, those like broken panels or, or whatever, that that has to be something you can eventually interact with because yeah. they really yeah. stand out. But it's like a hack perk or something. Could you be get, like, yeah. Some kind of tool. We've got the mix a little lower here, and I wouldn't be surprised by another right. no, electric hammer. Yeah, I, I'm wondering. I'm wondering if this was recorded at their end in five channels, and mm. the the, mm. the the vocals are kind of low. Oh, okay, and then we mix down at the two. I don't know. Seems weird. The, the weapons seem very loud. Oh yeah, and, and the, I mean they're powerful. Uh, and yeah. so do some of the action. So I apologize if stuff spikes here. No one blames you, Vinny. Oh, they will. So you see the detection <laughs> meter. See the detection meter thing. Yeah. So and they're cr they're crouching too, so they're being sneaky as well. Here it is, 100% <laughs> Can you talk to your partners? Does um, like have chit chat combos or no? You can. I definitely one of those girls. I remember when I first met her, I had like a whole conversation tree with her. I don't know if I can just walk up now and start a whole thing. They were talking to each other, which is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, robot. I like the little robots. So this is a corporate factory here, and I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to get murdered if I cross that line. They look just like you. Yeah. My guess is yes. <laughs> trying to tread carefully here. Yeah, fair. They're not shooting me on sight, which okay. is a plus. So you still haven't found a quest yet, right? No, no. Okay. I, I do. Okay. okay. I believe We will you. get to see a quest <laughs> that I think involves this place. Okay. Getting real, like, Minecraft vibes from this music. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's also something just very No Man's Sky mm -hmm. about the environmental design. Yeah, the aesthetics. Yeah, definitely. Not that they invented the idea of this particular kind of alien planet design, yeah. but it just, it, that's what it reminds me of. Wait, yeah. Was that person sleeping or? I think he was sleeping. Oh. And did you notice when I actually went over his face, it said blind? And I think that meant if I shot oh. there, I would blind him. Oh, oh, oh. oh. At some point, Parvati did heal, so apparently they do that on their own. Oh, good for them. Yeah. We got mechs. Wow, get him. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> a bad sound. <laughs> Some good yells. That's not a good sound. I'm looting while they're yeah. getting shot at. Hey, you guys do the, all the work. Yeah, yeah I've seen this before. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, guys, there's fine. a level three backpack over here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They have an electric hammer, they're fine. <laughs> and a minigun. 
I'm just some dope. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Ooh, a ball of evil. Monster. Mantis swarm. Ooh. They should it should not be that. I feel like a gun what's a gun <laughs> gonna do to a swarm of bugs? Yeah, I killed a couple of them. Yeah, I guess so. Try <laughs> stealth. No one's ever tried hiding from one of those things. Oh, here's my stealth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did not see that coming! <laughs> I'm on fire again. That's a real shame. Man, that hammer's cool. Yeah. Uh, did you try any hammers? I saw you pick a few of them up. I didn't. I, I didn't do a whole lot of melee stuff, but I had the uh, options. So you saw there I tried one of the side dash things. What, did it feel effective or good? Yeah. yeah. It gets you out of the way. Especially like big lobbing attacks. Yeah. The plasma launcher was not as like devastating as I hoped it would be. It's doing some work. I mean, I'm sure it could be upgraded, but didn't help me out too much here. Didn't stop you from being on fire. Oh, um, that was your inhaler. Oh, okay. I'm on fire and on drugs now. <laughs> <laughs> Extra drugs now. Super drugs. Nope, keep it going. Wow. <laughs> All right. I think I was trying to figure out if it regenerates mm. or if it was finite at this point. Oh, there's still a thing that's alive. You should fix that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what is that? Good work. It worked. Yeah. Burf. Yeah, or bug juice. Did you get shiny pants? Is that what that said? Looked like it. It could be, yeah. So the idea, Dan, is that you would travel to other environments, other worlds? Yes. Outer uh, worlds, Oh, perhaps. I guess, yeah. yeah, you had a ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's not all set here. That's cool. And yeah. then I, su I assume they would have different environments. The yeah. cold one. Yeah, like this one. This is Monarch, and it all looks like this, but there are, like, several different towns and factories and things like that to explore. Oh, and so this little guy. Marauders. I can almost see it like a destiny type thing where it's like there's several planets and they have kind of their own little area there. That would make sense. It did seem like there's a good variety of like humanoid type enemies, big monster, bug type things, flying things. And that's just this one planet. Try to find a quest in this box. Uh, when you talk to Mahardi, yeah. Uh, when did he find his quest? I'm not sure when in his session he did, but just the one he described to me was just wholly different than the one I found, and I think his might have been a side quest as well. Mm, okay. Bugs. But you had looked at the map at some point and set a waypoint for a quest, right? No, oh, it's just, so here's okay. the, fast just travel. the fast travel points. So oh. I was finding these like points of interest here, like this factory or whatever, but I was not finding quests. I see. They're not just throwing that stuff on the map. Yeah, I think what I did was, uh, I think I go back to that town and try to figure out who I need to talk to mm -hmm. to get that. I see you're trying to avoid encounters. Very smart. Yeah, yeah, stealthy <laughs> game player. Skyrim away. Trying to be better at yeah. jumping. <laughs> I had to test the Skyrim jumps. <laughs> All right, let's see how the stealth goes. Oh, that thing doesn't like you. Oh, we saw me immediately. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> the mech Whoa. is mad at you. <laughs> Drugs. <laughs> Just wow. One after another, always. <laughs> cool. Scream. Look, if I was ever firing a minigun, if I'm ever in a position where I'm firing a minigun, I am yeah. screaming the whole way through that thing. I, I feel bad. support that. Because I fired a minigun twice, and I didn't scream either time. What are you doing? Oh, I don't man. know. I really should have. What are you doing with your life? I think I was just terrified about firing a minigun. <laughs> okay, that's fair. I did uh, one season of Zog Sports Dodgeball, and when you play dodgeball, you have to, like, run for the ball in the beginning, and I would love to, like, scream like a maniac while I did it. Oh, it would really fun. throw people off. It was I, fun. I would imagine. I thought you were going to say that you had like a dodgeball minigun that shot a bunch of yeah, dodgeballs yep. real fast. Uh, <laughs> the, yep. It wasn't allowed or legal in any way, oh, but really? I, we won a lot of games. Oh, nice. Dodgeball's great. So I think I'm realizing that this area seems important, this giant Cascadia town, factory, whatever. So I think I'm trying to go in now. Also, did you see a thing when you, it was locked that was like 
a number out of 85? Do you know what that was? Uh, I think that had to be... Oh, you like, snuck in. I don't know if that was like a skill check for like a hack skill or an unlock oh, skill, or okay. if that was a you need this much okay. of a certain thing to like pick a lock or something. Oh. Okay, so I actually did sneak into this town here. Nanner Spank. Uh -huh. Ew. Mm. <laughs> I've had that. Nanner Spank? Yeah. Yeah. It's not good. It tastes like banana runs. Gross. So but this like point liquid. So this, they don't want you here. No, yeah, they're That's marauders. what I'm trying to figure out is if, <laughs> if I was allowed here, and I don't think I am. So yeah, so this, like, town here is basically just the, the bottling corporate, uh, the Nanner Spank company. Uh, cool. Like their Nuka-Cola? Basically, <laughs> let's, yeah. Let's say. Yes. Seems like it's maybe not doing so well. Signs falling. Town oh, yeah. seen better days. Nanner Spank is no longer the hot product it once was. <laughs> Good night. So these marauders like taken over this town? I think th they might be like mercenaries hired by the company to oh, okay. like protect what is still <laughs> active there. To protect the, the precious Nanner Spank. Yes, because even if stuff is in disrepair, uh, I do believe the factory is still operating. The focus thing feels really good. That like yeah, sniping that seems stuff. Satisfying. Yeah. Ooh, good work. Thank you. What the hell happened there? Wow, oh, they're really so much kill up that people. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be here. <laughs> so okay, if they if your people die and you leave them, will they eventually come find you and just heal themselves or? Uh, you know, I'm not sure. I'm curious here. I don't remember reviving anyone. Uh, is there so an option to? Do you know? That's the thing. I don't remember like seeing them down on the ground, like down but not out or okay. anything like that. Did they ever revive you? I don't think so. So I can't say. I, I'm not sure if that mechanic exists or not. It could. <laughs> maybe with certain characters. Yeah, maybe that's like a perk or something. I keep wanting a sound effect when that plasma ball lands and explodes. Mm -hmm. uh, I wonder if again that's just oh. a weird mix thing with uh, the footage. Could be. I thought I might have been hidden at this point since I killed enough people, mm. but they... So it looks like both your companions are down. Yeah, I'm about to be, too. <laughs> I can't remember if I actually die here. I might. I mean, you're not doing great. Yep, there, yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to survive at this point. Yep. I think I'm out of drugs. So there I had enough. You see, that was like a lock break mm, yeah. icon. Sorry, I know I don't have a lot of specific answers about mechanics and things like nice. that, but they literally, like, they sat us down and they're like, Play for a couple hours, and so all I can speak to is what I what I saw there. Gotcha. I think I just put cigars into my drug thing, some Stogie Slims. That'll make you feel better. Yeah. What else can I put in there? A knock you out bar. Okay. Oh, I, oh, think I just ate that. Heat health gen. Okay. Yeah, you can just eat it straight from here Purple without berry juice. putting it in a drug thing. Is your name Dutch? I don't think so. Okay. Well, they already got each other in here. Oh, they're back alive. Yeah. Yoka and her body. Okay. I wonder if it's just like one of those like, hey, you're out of combat long enough. Eventually, they start coming back. Yeah, yeah. Next time you're in your menu, look in the upper left. I don't know why okay. A, I don't know why it's a Dutch. <laughs> but it seemed like something you might name your character. Uh, well, See? yes, you're right, but oh, yeah, I, I didn't hear. It does say. Oh, Dutch. Dutch it does. Okay, Maybe that's just like a default name or something. Probably, yeah. Um, uh, I have a question. Do you know if they have any intention of doing co-op or anything? They didn't it seems say anything like about having, that. It'd be easy to swap in a real person for those those it, characters. They didn't say anything about that, and I feel like this close to launch, they probably would have yeah. like yeah, that would have been a something. big selling point right out of the gate. Yeah. You did it, Dan. You did yeah, it. I survived. killed everyone yeah. in this town. <laughs> Well, there's still a few people milling around out there, but they're not trying to murder you right now. Yeah, so. you can fast travel out of it. So here's me just trying to figure out where the fuck to find a quest. What are those square point uh, of interest? I think those were like the little like abandoned factories I found that like uh, I couldn't get into. Wow, gross! Yeah. A lot of cool art. That game. thing is barfing. Yeah, so here's me just looking at the sign like, okay, where haven't I been? <laughs> I'm in this way. Sure. Surprised you didn't have somebody come like over your shoulder during the event and be like, so, uh, just if you're interested, there's uh, a bunch of stuff to do in this town. Right, right. No, it was very hands off, which, uh, that is kind of nice. Yeah, that is nice. She, Jesus. <laughs> God. 
No amount of fire will stop me from shooting this goddamn minigun. There's your thumbnail. <laughs> I like how it covers up its yep. weak spot. Like ball, dude, fucking King Hippo. Yes. Remember on the Wii one where he just taped a manhole cover to it? Yes. What? <laughs> a punch out. Wii punch out is pretty alright. It, it really is. Oh, that's a nightmare out here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not good. A lot of gross bug sounds. A lot of screaming. Yeah, people being on fire. Right. We're done here. <laughs> Thank you. Did you ever get a vehicle, Dan? Aside from I did the not. Mm. I did not. Yeah, this feels like a place you would want, like, a nice dune buggy or something. Yeah. Right, right. Like, getting from place to place in Borderlands. What was that thing this level, or was that info about the thing you were shooting? I think that was info. Are you talking about the little box that appears yeah. on the left? I think that's info when you're in that, like, focus mode. Oh. Did you use the, the melee weapons much? Uh, at one point, uh, before the end of this, uh, I think you'll see it, but and no, I didn't, I didn't do it a whole lot. A venom sword, yeah. Before. Yeah. I really like this assault rifle thing. This feels like a quest. <laughs> I was trying to, like, holster it. thought those mantisaurs had peacefully exited the premises. But you're a simpler explanation. Thanks for the assistance. Name's Look at that collar. Every Look at that hat. <laughs> Look at that <laughs> skin tone. Oh, he he looks kind of sick. <laughs> well, what's, what does that hat turn into? Is it deflated? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, the top. So he's got a little shop, it seems. Oh, okay. Purpleberry munch. My man, you should not be giving quests. You look like you should be in bed dying of consumption. <laughs> lon Lon Milk. So you're yeah. selling this stuff, right? Uh, you're, yes, I'm you're selling. On the sell thing. So shunt. All oh, those tiny things. That's what surprised me. Like yeah, you could inspect all that seven seed, all like lovingly rendered. Oh, cool. So there's uh, you're repairing stuff. Mm -hmm. So, so you did can... it break or is it like just degradation? Uh, I, I'm not sure if it gets to zero if it breaks. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Oh. Yep. All your shins. <laughs> Uh, that time you didn't scream. Didn't, didn't even get the scream there. No. <laughs> right, it was a big fall. There's your game over screen. Oops. <laughs> he survived all of that. You, fall you know, got it tested. Got to see yeah, the mechanics. Yeah, yeah, thank you for Check your, the fall damage. Your journalism. See, yep, yeah. yep. That's me. Where to put you? Oh, uh, back, back, back here. Okay. But I can pass travel from here. So you don't know if you kept, like, is it a hard save or did you lose any of the items or stuff you got before this point? That, I, I don't know. I didn't have, like, a bunch of, like, save slots or anything like that. I guess we can go back and look at the footage and check your experience. If the, oh, yeah, yeah. To see if, uh, because you, did you hard, you didn't hard save, right? No. It must have auto saved. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So here's me back at this town, just assuming somebody can give me a quest. <laughs> just raise your hand, walk through town. Yeah. Anybody Are need any help of you anything? plot critical? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Steal your jugs. <laughs> I can find Arthur. I can find Arthur. Just tell me what to do. <laughs> you don't look like a smuggler nor a dandy. Catherine sends you back here. Who are the dandies? On I don't know. Thought, it's best if I don't know. What's your order? No, I don't have any. <laughs> if it's only <laughs> Jeez, a drink, all right, I'm sorry. Full bars upstairs. This here's the Annie up, where you place your bets. Toss ball, auto loader races, card games, you name it. I ain't picky. And neither is Catherine. Who's Catherine? Well, we'll we will meet break her. Your legs if you lose and shirk on paying. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Sounds like a nice place. Here's a toss ball legends. Ah, uh, Frazier. Yeah. And there's a the toss ball. Don't steal the toss ball. So is toss ball like baseball? Uh, with a weird like metal ball a thing. Yeah. Does it explode? It's future baseball. Ah, here we go. <laughs> Ma'am. Uh-huh. You blind fella? Or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sissy pig fucker who what? strolls into <laughs> my town expects <laughs> to smile that? and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. Catherine, 
You're as welcoming as ever. Truthfully spoken. Oh, I am Dutch. I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. So you have charm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so there are you options. Know, you can actually make like a stupid character and there will be like stupid dialogue options. You can say it's a good thing. Opens up different things. Uh, is that but something first, you do in your like uh, level stranger. up tree, or do you have certain stats well, that you? Start there are uh, with? yeah, like stat points and everything, or you can like take out of intelligence and put into oh, brawn cool. and stuff so like that. You can that. adjust that whenever, or um, well, I'm not sure if you're gonna uh, tweak it after the fact. Okay. Fully trustworthy. Against my better judgment, I do believe you. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run Borst? by a man who calls yeah. himself the King, Clive Lumberg, and suffered. Lumberg. <laughs> That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. Stars, I hope so. Clive Lundberg, the self-proclaimed worst king of Monarch, is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. He's making the only meal to be had this side of Monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that Borst factory. Owner dead or alive. Okay. And you're the soon-to-be-handsomely-paid son of a bitch who's gonna get it for me. Kill him. Run him out. I don't rightly care for the details. So long as Clive knows resistance to me is costly. And futile. Hit him where it hurts. In his gut or his production lines ought to make do. Then I'd say you might care to poison the system. Mm. Doctor a few financial records. Or throw a wrench in the canning machine. I, I love when there are options like this. Sometimes I want to go about this stuff. Solution is the sweetest. I don't give a wit about the method or the means, just the end. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps. For so the content. factory is the place that I went to yeah, earlier and killed everyone. You. Oh, okay. Uh, but won't. it's inside there. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you didn't kill the right people for that quest to have already been done or No, anything. the quest is like, yeah, you go inside this big factory, Catherine's which we'll see here. Too. Gotcha. So can you just fast travel there? Yeah, so that's the thing. I Since I've already been there, I can fast travel straight there. Oh, that's nice. Right now I'm trying to get an employee ID <laughs> so I can just walk in the front door and not go through another murder spree. So unlike you. I just give a product myself to assure maximum customer satisfaction. If you doubt it, I can show you my lower back rash. <laughs> Please don't. No rubber neck. I say big fan. <laughs> not so fast. The biometric IDs are special goods, only on offer to special clients. You cotton? <laughs> but see, well, you do look like some lingo has still survived. <laughs> mm -hmm. By which I mean my favorite customer. Give me a jiffy to break. I, I mean, calibrate the ID. This goes like that. <laughs> nope, not quite right. A bit to the left, mayhaps. That'll do it. For a CMP factory line worker, she sure is a beauty. Careful. I'm trusting you to guard this specialty good with your life. I mean it. Lose the ID and you don't get another. Also, you'll be off my list of unwholesome customers. Will that be all, or do you require something to say, scratch your itch? No, I don't have a lower back rash. Ooh, yeah. So I remember being confused by this, because you're going to see me warp to uh, the thing, and I, I thought that I had the ID on me, and then it uh, turns out I did, but I was very confused <laughs> by, like, if the robots were cool with me or not here. Are you looking for the ID? I might be. Trying to make sure you got everything set to go. Yeah, I think I might be confused at this point about whether or not I have that. Well, let's find out together. Yeah. Alright, let's try it. It's close by. Yeah, and I can just warp right there. Uh-oh. Yeah. Do you know, what's the release date on this game? I want to say October? Hmm. Something? Yeah, that's why it was here. Alright, so here's the employee check-in point. I think I have the ID on me. I'm gonna try to walk past <laughs> this. Ah, you must be a part of the new line shift. It was this. Uh, I think it was that line. It's like, oh shit! I thought I had a key card. Worth two infractions, you know. 
But it turns out, if I didn't have the key card on me, if I passed that barrier, they just would have opened fire right away. Oh. So I, I did have it here. That is confusing, though. That's it it is. The line. So actually, yes, I think I very quickly do. Like, did I leave this on the counter or something? You sold like, me a bad ID. Yeah, yeah. Where is it? I can't find it. Yeah. That should probably be a little clearer. Also, yeah. now I have a back rash. Right. I think I, <laughs> yeah. I think I did talk to one of the developers afterwards. Like, did I leave it or something? But it turns out it's just not very clear. I think I saw this. Alex, I think, were you with me at E3? Did we see this together? No, I did not go to this point. Okay. I'm fabric. No rubbernecking. Make a bump. Yeah, <laughs> Where's my ID? ID? What are we doing here? Ooh. Yeah, there's a bunch of clothes. That's cool. All right, well, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> this? Oh, Rice Krispie treats. <laughs> Did I, you? Did I drop it? You? <laughs> you shopping for pre-owned or new? Uh, new ID. Idiot, you buy it. Store pop. <laughs> I'm just. Like, did I, I lose help, something? Help I can, me. It's funny because I can, I feel that I could see My the gears turning yeah. here. No They're lost and found here. <laughs> I can tell you right now, I would have had the exact <laughs> same re reaction yeah. to this. I already had a giant <laughs> gunfight in that area, and I didn't want to do another. I was like, fuck it, let's try to make this thing work. It's also fun to me knowing that you don't know how to put your gun away and you're just like holding it. Yes. Help. Please. Yes. Please help me. It's yeah. stuck to my hand. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Anyway, I'm here to do line work with my pistol. <laughs> so you see down there, it turned into, like it says CNP, yeah. so I think that means that I'm like appearing as one of them. Right. So that's your suspicion bar on the bottom, right? Mm, no, suspicion's like above the uh, enemy's heads. You sure? I mean, maybe this is like a disguise suspicion or something, but actually, I guess I'm not sure at all about I that. I think when I saw the demo, see that little thing ticking down? Oh, that could be. Like, if I just hang around oh, too long. Yeah. Be, yeah. And you get like three chances too. when they ask you. Oh. At least that's what oh. they told me in the demo or something. That could be. Okay. That, that could be right. Also, maybe I was wrong. This does not look like the Rizzo factory. This I think this is a different town. Oh, right. I think yeah. this is the factory you walked by. Yes. And you were like, I can't do anything here yet. And then you went on to that other town. You're right. So now I'm inside the factory. Right. So now I've got to figure out what to do about this Clive fella. <laughs> Ooh, what's that robot over there? Oh, Ugh. the pigs. Yeah, the pigs. Oh, the sissy pigs. Worst, worst. <laughs> I still don't know if these people are going to shoot me. <laughs> so far, so good. Just going to play it cool. That's real gross. gross. Yeah. What's the route you take? Do you poison the sissy pigs? We're going to find out. We'll find Let's out. Find out I hope you throw a wrench in the machinery. I always take the most nuanced approach when given numerous options. Oh, yeah. Ooh, they are cysty. Yeah, it's real gross. Employee information not found. Identify yourself. Error. Paradox protection protocols have prevented me from register error. Paradox <laughs> prevention has temper. All right, see, see ya. So you see one of the things oh, that's yeah. ticked off now, and it started oh, ticking down. Oh, interesting. Okay, that is something I did not pick up on. That's cool. Yeah. I think as you stop moving, like the suspicion stops going uh -huh. down a bit. So it's like a three strikes thing before they're like, "Hey, you're not that guy." Yeah, I think I think that's right. I, again, it was like an E3 demo. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm you're curious not. If, it, if you're sneaking, if it won't go down, you're not supposed to be on this conveyor belt. <laughs> so I think if you touch a robot now, again, they'll they won't be happy. Interrogate you again. Interesting. Are well, your friends still following you? Uh, yeah, they're coming. Oh yeah, they'll be along. <laughs> I also believe it, they said it resets each room. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> just want to make sure I'm um, ready. Yeah. yeah, just make sure I'm ready for whatever happens. So yeah, you got your four slots up there that go into your weapon wheel. Time to get knifey. <laughs> just a normal thing for an employee to do yeah. first day on the job. Yes. Clive. Hey, Clive. What's hey, up, Clive. bud? Clive. Make me work on a Saturday. Oh. Fuck you, Lumberg. And just what do you think? He you're looks doing evil. <laughs> These are my he just mostly looks tired. Friend. Yeah. I don't allow tours up here. I don't allow tours ever on deeper consideration. Certain things require a mess to do well. See, I was just Oh, I don't trust this guy. No. Sometimes. Wow, this dude is I just outwardly creepy. Yeah. yeah. On my own it's like part of his brand. <laughs> Nothing like fresh and bloody forced worst. I do own a factory known for specializing in the canning of borstwurst. 
On occasion, I like they do to say borst works a lot. Huh? Mm -hmm. a pig. Did you fancy me a cannibal? Perish the thought. No, I don't eat the bodies. I disappear. A joke that last was. Uh, okay. so, I don't trust you. What can I do for you? Yoda ask. <laughs> My full attention is at your disposal. Uh, I'm not saying you shouldn't vex this guy, but if you do, it's been nice knowing you. While I approve of your associate's cautious nature, I still teeter. Oh, I don't like this. Of losing <laughs> um, do you ever talk, or is it just your your friends? I think it's my friends. I mean, I'm choosing my dialogue, but I don't right. really hear my character. By sublight, you mean Catherine, do you not? A greedy star-crossed sow. Listen, friend. The Borst King of Monarch <laughs> does not negotiate with coveters. How about you bring me Catherine's severed head, and I will gift you. I'm gonna a go out on a limb and say Catherine seems a little more trustworthy than this. Oh, guy. you gotta get a life lifetime supply. Yeah, here. sounds pretty good. I told I told him I'd do it. Awful work your while. Why would what? Because I'm trying to get him to lower his guard and turn around. Damn. I never was gonna do it. Make it so and make it swift. He thinks I'm gonna do it. King shall reward you. See, I got killed you Catherine. Just got, you just agreed to do it. I know. I I told him I was gonna do it. All right, buddy. I'm gonna go yeah, do it. We'll see you I'm later. gonna kill Catherine. You see him on the up and up. Uh, I like his pants though. Yeah. <laughs> Looking at that, I'm like, I'm gonna fucking do it. <laughs> yeah. Should I do it? <laughs> Eat it, Clive. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessary, <laughs> but perfect. Like an inch away. Yeah. It's nice, quiet. I'm gonna go out of limb and say he <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> That's uh, a pile of dust yeah. that used to be a guy. Pile of Clive. Here, I've got Clive in my pocket if we need to uh, confirm this. or some <laughs> smoked Clive. Oh, you didn't look at his computer? Oh, I don't think I did. Mm -hmm. See, I wanted to test the flexibility on, like, even though I told him that I was going to mm -hmm. kill her and it changed my active quest to go kill Catherine, I wanted to see if it would be flexible enough if I did mm -hmm. kill Clive. Then, right. And it did. It, it worked yeah. totally fine. I was so. curi I'm curious what the other, like, a little more story scripted ways of doing it were. Oh, like, you know, poisoning the pigs or messing yeah. up the factory or whatever. Yeah. Like how like, that would have played out. I think that's going to be a nice thing about the shorter running time of the game, too, is that, like, I would like to probably play again and see the totally different, different ways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Clive's done for. <laughs> I would say it's a shame about Clive, but it's not. Oh, he seemed to really <laughs> yeah, suck. He seemed bad. Yeah. I could tell Catherine I did the nice thing and also didn't yeah. kill her. You just. Killed that guy who's running a business for this other person. Yeah. So yeah, but he was being real creepy about it. <laughs> yeah, he was. She seems cool. Uh, I'm curious what you'll get. Uh, like, do you get, like, rep points with certain... Yeah, yeah. Okay. So there is a, a thing in the menu. Uh, I went by pretty quick earlier, but, uh, yeah, it tells you, like, your percentage of, like, you know, how you're doing with the different corporations and okay. groups so and it's everything. it's all just corporations? I guess there are, like, rebel groups, or...? There might be. Uh, most of the people I ran into in my time were, like, corporation leaders and things like that, but okay. there could totally be different groups. More than more successful, can tell you that. And, like, I wonder if this is the type of game where it's like, you know, I could just kill these quest givers and just have to deal with it and, like, not follow these quests, you know? Mm -hmm. I take it you don't have a reservation. Yeah, like, I'm curious if you, uh... Oh, look at that, by the way, on the right. You see, so sublight, oh, sure, salvage, sure. and shipping, I'm cool with okay. them now. That's hers. Um, I'm curious what that evil guy's missions are. Mm. Yeah, like, if he turns into a quest giver or if yeah. I become, like, really favorable with them. Right, like, yeah. you're like, okay, yeah, I'll kill Catherine, mm -hmm. and now I'm with the weird sissy pig man. Yeah, it'd be really fun to kind of poke around and see what, you know, how much yeah. flexibility there is there. I do not think it would be fun to hang out with the sissy pig man. No. She just gave me a VIP room I can hang out at Ooh. anytime I want. Cool. See, I think that's more worthwhile. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy with the decision I made here. I don't know. Who knows what the sissy pig guy could yeah. have had? Yeah. As many burst, burst twats. <laughs> burst whatever. twats. I don't remember what they were called. Some kind of sausage. Borst, worst, yeah. worst. Whatever. Yeah. That's, just, that's what I said. Yeah. So yeah, you see the reputation tab up there and everything. Uh, so that's basically it. That is, uh, that's just a side quest there. Uh, and it did seem like there were several different ways that could have gone. Uh, so I'm really curious. I have not seen the main quest outside of the beginning of the game. Hmm. So 
what I've seen really has me interested in this game. It, it feels really good. Uh, I, I really like a lot of different elements of this. So I do feel like I have a decent sense of it now. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm on board with this. I'm curious about more of the like less combat-y type stuff there is mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. as far as like peaceful runs or what yeah, like that the, might look like. The, the combat was fine and fun and mm-hmm. everything, but like, yeah, the, the quest part of this that yeah. you saw, I found way more interesting than, you know, just running around shooting stuff. Right. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how much of that there is. Uh, but that is it for the Outer Worlds as we know of it right now. Right on. Right. Thanks, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Thanks Thank for you, Dan. joining me.